everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the replay mod for Minecraft 1.18.1. This mod is amazing for content creators. It allows you to literally create a cinematic style video in Minecraft. So basically puts you in Minecraft and records all of your games automatically or you can stop and start it if you want but automatically by default it will just record all of your games and then you can easily manage all these replays in game. It's truly a content creator's best friend. You can even like do cinematic content with keyframing and everything all from inside Minecraft. It's a really cool mod, and we're going to be going over everything today, even downloading a thing called FFmpeg, which is required to get your videos out of Minecraft, which I'm guessing you want to do. So we're going to be going over all that in this video. First and foremost, though, we have Ms. Mar sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually haven't just Apex so much that we have our own server. Played our breakdowncraft.com on them, so if you want to start your own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the replay mod installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for downloading and installing replay mod in text format. This video you're watching will be up here at the top, and the text tutorial is down here towards the bottom. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this yellow download replay mod button. That'll take you to replay mod's official download page, where you want to find the 1.18 plus 1.18.1 section right here, this version. Come over here to the right-hand side and click on that download button next to it. Replay mod will then download, where you'll need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Once you've done that, we can move on to getting the Fabric API. The Fabric API is basically the API mod that's required to run Replay Mod, and you guessed it, you can find it in the description down below. It's going to be the third link down below. Once you're here, scroll down and click on the Download Fabric API. This is going to take you to CurseForge, where you want to look at the right-hand side of the screen, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.18, and then you'll see 1.18.1 Fabric API. Click the orange download button, and and just like the Fabric API, you'll need to probably keep it or save it. It's not 100% of the time, but most of the time you'll need to keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen. Now we're not done downloading just yet. We still need the Fabric Mod Loader. That's going to be what links Replay Mod to Minecraft. Kind of the Fabric Mod Loader sits in the middle, loading the mods. And here it is in the description down below. It'll be the fourth link. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on that Download Fabric button. That will take you to Fabric's official download page, where you want to click on the Download Universal Jar right here. Now you might be wondering why we're not clicking download for Windows. The reason for that is we're going to install it using Java instead of the XEX file they have right here. I've had issues in the past with people having Windows block it. It's never blocked the jar file once you get it downloaded. So click on the download universal jar and in the bottom left it's safe to keep or save. By the way the reason Windows does that is because not a lot of people install Fabric but it is 100% safe. I guarantee it. You're watching me download from these links right now in this video. Last thing we need to download is going to be FFmpeg. Now you might be like, what is that? This is what's going to allow you to export videos from Minecraft. Now, I will say if you don't want to do that, just go ahead and press forward. Don't download this and we're going to install this mod and you'll be good. But remember, you cannot export videos without FFmpeg. How do you get that? Well, you guessed it. Fifth link in the description down below is going to take you right here. Scroll on down and once you're here, you want to click on the installing FFmpeg in the contents. By the way, I'm going to go over some of the basics of this mod here once we get in game. But overall, this tutorial, this guide in the description down below where you're downloading FFmpeg from is going to be much, much more helpful than I am on actually using this mod. I'm going to get it to where you can use it. Next more videos do everything with it, but this video would be half an hour, if not an hour long, going through all the features of this mod. Nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on this link next to download the latest FFmpeg release. So go ahead and click on this right here. Once you do in the bottom left, FFmpeg will download. This is a huge file, so we're just going to go ahead, let it download, and move forward with this tutorial. We can then go ahead and minimize our browser. Then we want to click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, unless you're on Windows 11. It's going to be in the center of your screen. Once you click on that, go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, and open it up. In here, you'll find uncovered confirmed or something that looks weird. That's going to be FFmpeg downloading. Ignore that. All we need right now is the Fabric installer, the Fabric API, and the replay mod. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, we want to start off by seeing if we can open up the Fabric installer. And by the way, if these look weird, they don't look like my icons, that's perfectly okay. We'll show you how to fix it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off though by seeing if we can open up the Fabric installer. To do this, right click on it, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. Now if you don't have Java here, just keep watching, we're going to fix it. But if you do, click OK. And at this point, it should open up the Fabric installer, unless you have the wrong version of Java. Then it won't work, it'll give an error, or it'll open this up and it just will, won't look correct. There won't be any buttons or anything. And any of those cases, anything we've outlined, from the icons being wrong, to you not having Java, to you opening up the Fabric installer and Java not working, what we need to do is go ahead 
and go to the description down below and go here. You need Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods in 1.18 plus, and it goes over everything in this tutorial on how to get it. It's really simple though. It's three steps, one, two, three, but we do have a video if you rather use videos to get your tutorials from us. But yeah, that's how you can fix those issues, and it's required for a lot of people. It's the issue we see most people having, and it's solved right here with Java 17. Now, in some cases, your icons will still look weird, and you might not be able to open up Fabric even after downloading Java 17. That's usually because you need the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. So if you install Java and it's still not working, you run the jar fix and it will. However, don't just roll in the jar fix. If you just install the jar fix, it's not going to work. You need to do Java, then the jar fix. Once you've done that though, we can finally come back here, right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. It'll then open up the Fabric installer right like so, where we want to make sure 1.18.1 is selected and we can click install. Then boom, successfully installed Fabric, that quick and easy. However, if you don't get this successfully installed message, it's because you need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1, but no mods or anything like that. Just go play Minecraft 1.18.1, come back and you'll be good to go. Click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. You can then delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. We don't need it. Now it's time to move on and install the Fabric API. To do this, go ahead and click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, and again, center of your screen on Windows 11. Once you do that, type in Run. We have this Run app here. Open up the Run app, and then in the Run app, what we want to do is type percent sign, app data percent sign. So percent, app data percent, exactly like so, and click OK. Then we want to open up the .minecraft folder, and in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Guess what? I don't have one either. So let's go ahead and right click, create a new folder. You're going to need to name this folder Mods. M ODS, all lowercase, exactly like that. You must name it mods or it will not work. Once you've got a mod folder here, go ahead and double click to open it up. And now we need to drag and drop the Fabric API in the replay mod into this folder. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and close out of our mods folder and we need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we need to make sure we got the Fabric profile selected. If we don't have the Fabric profile selected, it will not work. You will have replay mod. Now for you and most people, it's probably going to be automatically selected right like that. And if it's not, go ahead and click on this little arrow next to the play button and select it from this list. But Nick, what if the Fabric Loader isn't in this list or it's not Fabric Loader 1.18.1? Well, in that case, come up here to the installations at the top and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked it and it disappeared. So that needs to be checked and boom, you're good to go. Click play and click play again. However, if you still don't have the Fabric Loader, you want to click on new installations here. Then you want to enter a name. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm naming it play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our Minecraft 1.18.1 Grief Protected Survival and Skyblock server. You should totally come play on it. It's amazing. Nevertheless, once you've done that, go ahead and click on the version drop-down box and then click on Release Fabric Loader right like so. Once you've clicked on that, we want to come under Resolution and change this to anything. It doesn't matter what you change your resolution to, but I need to set it to 1920 by 1080 because that is what's going to be best for recording for you. Nevertheless, the most important part is making sure the version is Fabric Loader and 1.18.1 at the end. The numbers in the middle don't matter. Actually, the higher they are, usually the better. Go ahead and click on the green create button in the bottom right, and now we have this brand new play.breakdowncraft.com profile with Fabric Loader underneath. Hover over this and click the green play button. You then want to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and click play again. Now, Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with the replay mod installed. It's that easy to get it. The hard part is all done. It's all set up. Replay mod is installed. But don't stop watching just yet because if you do, you won't be able to export videos. In order to export videos, we'll need to install FFmpeg. So let me go ahead, get on the Minecraft main menu, show it, you that the replay mod is installed, and then we'll get FFmpeg installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Unfortunately, Fabric doesn't have a mods button for me to show it there, but we do have this replay viewer. And right here is the replay viewer. Now that things in there, let's go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. And when we join in, we'll be able to just walk around here for one quick second and then uh, basically we'll be good. So I'm just going to walk around right like so, looking around and all I'm doing right now is creating a replay. By the way, if you hit escape, you'll be able to see that you can stop the recording or pause it right like here. There's also a recording in the top right. If we stop the recording, it's going to stop it. If we start the recording, we'll now have two separate recordings available in our replay viewer here in a minute. So let's go ahead, just keep running around for one quick second just to get that second recording up more than like, you know, five seconds, and then we'll be good to go. Just run to the top of these stairs here, boom, and there we go. Now if we go ahead and hit escape and disconnect, it'll stop the recording. And as you can see in the top right, we have two replay files that are being saved. Click done, and now we can go ahead and click on the replay viewer to right there they are. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these we open up, but I have noticed when you first run replay mod, it'll sometimes not work correctly. So when we open this up, yes, we don't have a way to edit these. 
What we need to do to fix that is exit the replay and quit out of Minecraft. But before we open Minecraft up, let's go ahead and install FFmpeg. To do this, you want to go to your downloads folder again. We did that earlier in the video. Click the little Windows icon, type in downloads, and at this point, FFmpeg should be finished. It's a bigger download, so it's going to take a while. Go ahead and drag it to your desktop for ease of use, and once it's there, we want to right-click on it and click on Extract All. Then click on Extract in the bottom right, and when we do, we're going to get this folder on our desktop of FFmpeg. It's probably going to move back over to the left here. Let's see. No, it actually didn't. So now once we've done that we can delete the file that is like the zip folder right like so and we just have this folder now I would love to say you're done but you still need to open this up and then you'll have ffmpeg right here drag and drop this to your desktop and boom just like that it's converted it to where now as soon as you open up ffmpeg you see bin doc presets all of this stuff when you do you're now good to move it to your dot minecraft folder we got there earlier so let's go ahead and do it again click on that little windows icon again Click, type in run, open the run app, type in percent sign app data percent sign, click OK, and then open up .minecraft. Now you just want to drag and drop ffmpeg into this .minecraft folder, right? Like so, basically there's a new folder in here. Once you've done that, we can go back into Minecraft, so open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch the replay mod back up with the Fabric installer. You always want to launch Minecraft with the Fabric installer to play your replay mod. So there it is, click play, and I'll see you after a quick jump cut, and we can export those replays. So here we are in the Minecraft main you can click that little replay button and we're going to open up the same replay we opened up before at least i think it was and now at the top of the screen we have our helpful replay menu and by the way you can see i'm moving around independently of where i'm moving the camera that's really cool and that's one of the features that replay mod has right so awesome stuff again one of the things i absolutely love about it However, we're going to go ahead and add in a few keyframes here. So what we want to do is go ahead and enter in a keyframe. Let's actually uh, kind of start over here where I was. I want you to follow me here. So we're going to start over here, click here. Then we're going to move back right like so and move forward uh, right like there. I just added uh, in a video. You'll notice I don't do that much. Uh, something I developed early in the YouTube uh, YouTube career. So now if we move back over here right like so, we can move forward a little bit, bam, and then we'll move right around right like so to get that final shot at about 18 ish seconds now what we want to do is go up to the top and set our time basically because I did this to where I could do this to where the first keyframe is here and the last keyframe is here I'm hoping this will work out let's see we can go ahead and click play to uh, to kind of get this done or wait I'm, I'm doing this wrong I think I think if I do this, it's going to stay paused. No, it's not. Okay, cool. So now we are good to go. We can go ahead and click this render button to render the camera path and export it. The default settings are pretty good for 1080p from what I've seen. And uh, yeah, that's kind of that. You can rename the output file here if you want. Or is that, no, that's the location it looks like of the output file can be changed if you click on that as well as the name in the bottom left. So we'll do this replay tutorial. Bam. And now we can save this. When you click render in the bottom of the screen, it's now going to render out the video and you can show a preview. Now, as you can see, I was afraid of this. My time remapping is horrible. It didn't work well. I have never been good with time remapping, but guess what? If you want to be good with it, it is linked in the description down below in the replay mod documentation. There is an entire section on controlling time that I need to read personally. But nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we can see that while the time is frozen, we can move around right like so looking good and at the uh, I think it I think it just teleported me at the end yeah because again not the best at this but nevertheless once this is a re rendered you're gonna be able to find it in your dot minecraft folder so I will show you how to do that after a quick jump cut and there we go now the easiest way to do this is normally click open video folder except it's not there and it honestly should be that should work most of the time but one thing I will say is replay is in beta most minecraft 1.18.1 mods when I'm uploading this are in beta so you'll have issues now you might be thinking going to replay recording is gonna work but it's not that's where those raw replay files are going to be saved. So how do we find this? Well, I'm just going to search my entire computer to find it. One thing you could do as well, though, is actually re-export this video uh, by coming up here right like so and clicking render and then going here and seeing like where did this actually save. And it looks like it should have saved in just stop Minecraft, actually. So let's go ahead and check that because that means that was correct. So what it did is it opened up our dot Minecraft folder because that's where the video was saved. So if we come back here, we can scroll down and there it is, replay to Tutorial. We can drag that to our desktop just for ease of use and open it up. There we go. There's our poorly, poorly done replay, but it's a replay nonetheless. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. And come play with us on this server, playdowrbreakdowncraft.com. I'm currently on the medieval server and uh, would love to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.